Hello everyone, welcome to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will be talking uh, talking about for each activity in Azure Data Factory. Already we have covered a lot of videos on Azure Data Factory. You can check it out in the playlist. You can subscribe my channel for upcoming videos on Azure Data Factory and other data engineering related tools. Now let's get started with the for each activity. So I have a data factory created whose name is prod pipeline demo. You can have one. So I will create a new pipeline here. I'll just name it as demo. So let me just name it as demo. Uh, all right. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to know like what's the use of for each. So for each can be used in multiple ways based on your project requirement you can use for each activity. So just like we have for loops in our programming languages for each activity also iterates uh, you know a lot of time based on the loop requirements and we can have a lot of activities inside for each. For each of the item it will perform those sub activities right. It's uh, more of nesting we can say. And now let's see how we can use it. Number one thing is we can use hard coded values. Now the question is how to use hard coded values. You can go for uh, items. So you can see there is uh, here it is written items and you can have some dynamic items. So let's say you, you want something like let's say you want to loop A, B, C and D. Uh, like this we can create an array of list and we can use it. Even we can create a variable and then we can uh, use that variable inside the items. That is also possible. Another way is we can just tell the number of batch count like number of time it should repeat. Uh, we can even go for sequentially and we can just tell the item to be parameterized. For example, you can even give the array here or what you can do is you can create a variable. So I, I'll just create a variable name is uh, test and I will just say it is of type string confirm and now what I will do is I'll go to my variable test is created I will give a default value now in this I will say I have a very uh, string a I have a string B and so on like this we can create a list of values now what I will do is I will use these values basically now the question is how we can use these values so what you need to do is you need to click on for each activity and then you need to go to items add dynamic content and then here you can just say you can go to variable and test dot value so variable test will be used like this now this is where, which is very basic thing uh, which is we are doing hard coding but in project requirement we don't do this what we do is instead of these all thing we use something called metadata activity now what is get metadata so it will scan whatever you know uh, data set you will provide it will scan that thing and it will give you list of uh, like all that items or you know any metadata so metadata can be anything let me just demonstrate this to you clearly so what I want is I have a blog uh, container containing two files student details and teacher details now this blog container can have multiple files in future so I need to take care of that also now what I will do is I will create a data set first so uh, you know th so that uh, I can proceed further so what I will do is I will go to data set I will create a new data set uh, I know my you know storage is block storage i'll click on continue select excel again we'll press continue i'll just say demo as the you know data set name demo ds demo data set i will choose my link service connecting the container so my file path is i have a folder container called dev inside which both the sheets are there so i need to even select sheet name so i'll select sheet one and i'll press ok okay so this is what you need to do simply I have created a data set that's it once I press ok data set is created I will again go to demo I will click on metadata I will go to settings and I will select my data set demo now this is the main thing which you need to take care of so let me just demonstrate this part 
okay what you need to do is you need to click on field list new and there are multiple uh, you know uh, things which you can you do using the metadata you can check uh, whether your metadata have child items if yes uh, you can uh, click off this if you want child item child item means in that folder whatever number of files are present these are child of that node right so all that will be scanned uh, if you want to check some file exists or not you can use exist part you want to know the item name you can go for this you want to know the item type you can go select this you want to check what's the last modified time you can go for this we want child item we want that in this dev folder what what files are present so i'll select child item now what will happen is if i simply run this part only metadata if i delete and i run only this one what it will return it it will return me all the child item so there are how many child item two student details and teacher details these are the two files present in my dev container now what i want is i will connect it with for loop so with this tick mark i will extend and i will connect it with this for loop now what i will do is i click on this for loop i will go to settings i will go to sequential because i want to proceed one by one and now in the items i can even use metadata output so what i will do is i will say get metadata child item so what it will do is one by one means uh, like there are two child items so two times this loop will execute now i am just internally i just don't want to add any to i don't want to proceed with any activity so what i will do is i will show i will just put a wait block just to for the demonstration purposes but in your project requirement whatever requirement you have based on that you can put anything inside this for each activity now i will click on this debug button and let's see what happens so as soon as i press the debug button so you will see uh firstly my met get metadata activity will start and then my for each activity will start once for each will start inside that it will uh, you know uh, i did two times because we have how many files two files so just wait will uh, you know it will wait for one second because we have just executed uh, inside this for activity we have just uh, added a wait block that's it right now you can see firstly get metadata executed it gave us uh, you know two file names one is student details and another is teacher details now what happened for each activity uh, you know started and the item count is how much two and two times wait block executed because inside that we haven't written any logic we just added a wait activity you can add anything here right so this was all about for each loops and you also got to know about metadata so generally metadata is always used with for each in most of the project so based on your requirements you can use for you uh, you know for each loop so you can connect it with metadata you can you know add some variables and anything you can configure for each with anything right I hope you like the video. If you have any questions, you can put it in the comment box. Uh, just subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and, you know, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you.